what's up YouTube um, I'm making this video for all, for all of you land, land Rover owners that are trying to <clears throat> have a C CDL and don't want to buy the lever to activate your CDL and your center diff lock I got a better way in my opinion it's better um, it's cheaper and you only gonna need five things. Um, they, there is another option that you can buy from Lucky's, Lucky's Eight, I think it's what it's called. And it's the lever that completely changes this into the CDL in, engage lever. Um, it is quite pricey. I think it's nearly $500 for way less than that I'm gonna show you how to make an electrical CDL and this is what you're gonna need you're gonna need an actuator this is a 12 volt actuator I'm gonna post links of all of this except for this one because this is gonna be custom made but you're gonna need these the actuator the lever this is what's gonna engage and disengage your your center diff lock uh, nipple you're definitely going to need this this is very important this is what's going to make the actuator go forward and reverse it reverses the polarity so when you hit the switch and this is a spare switch uh when i was junking uh for parts for the land rover i came across this and i just took it with me because you are going to need one that a switch that retracts that you know has that motion where it just goes back to center um, so you press up or down wherever to engage it once it engages it goes back to to a neutral so you're gonna need one of these you can't have you can't use the switches that stay in one position because the actuator will think you're trying to engage it and it'll just keep engaging until you know burns out or something so you definitely want need one of these and finally this is a template uh we're gonna cut some sheet metal and make ourselves a custom bracket uh, but basically the way this works is like this so this is gonna get mounted inside the inside the uh the truck so is this gonna get wired to it but basically what we want to do is these are the two bolts that are gonna hold this bracket together we're gonna try to mount mount it like this this is your cdl nipple so we're gonna bolt it to that and then this actuator is gonna basically be mounted this way so when it activates this lever moves up and engages your CDL okay you push the button down and disengages it so that's the idea so I'm gonna sh I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut this this bracket well first I gotta crawl under there see if this template is accurate or close to accurate that way I can start cutting my bracket uh, fit it in there and see if we're in the ballpark um, and then I'll show you how to wire all of this together All right, guys, I was going to do this from underneath the truck, but it is just easier if you remove the center console and the plate and everything here. Um, I didn't show this in the video because I'm going to assume you guys are knowledgeable enough to remove all of this. If you don't know how to remove it, it's pretty simple. Uh, and you can find videos on how to remove the center, the entire center console. All right, so there you can see my center diff lock. There it is. You, the flashlight is blinking, but it's because of the video. And let me find a way to hold it. Well, there you can see the nipple. I've got the lever here, and you can see that my lever actually needs to be trim actually uh, needs the hole a little bit bigger so i'm gonna go ahead and drill that i'll slightly 
bigger than this, which is good. And we'll make sure that it fits on top of that, on top, on top of that bolt, which is the center death lock. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Make this a little bigger with a drill bit or something. And then we'll come back and test it out. Okay, guys. Uh, sorry if I sound like I'm out of breath, but that's because I am. I've been trying to finally take off those two bolts. Those two go right there, top and bottom out of those three. Just took those out. And I believe I still got to make this hole a little bigger, but I've been trying to figure it out a configuration for this, and I think I've got it. I had to drill out the pin that came with this uh, this lever bracket and the actuator comes with this U-bolt so I just bolted one for now I'm gonna test it I may have to um, you know hammer this into the nipple of the CDL and then start building the template for the custom bracket where it, where this is gonna this is gonna bolt on this side and so but that's what we're looking at right now so let me do this and then I'll show you what I've got all right guys I think I got it here let me turn this off I don't know if you can see that but I think I got it to where I believe that template We'll simulate the bracket. I got those two bolts momentarily on there. And the lever finally attached to the nipple. I will unbolt that obviously to properly install the bracket once I cut it. But I believe that when it's all said and done, this will engage and disengage the uh, center diff lock. So let's take that out. Fabricate that bracket, make it look pretty, and and then once all of this is installed, we'll begin the wiring, and we'll test it out while this nothing is back in place. So showing you guys that it engages and disengages the center default. So let's do that right now. Okay, so that's the bracket that I made. I haven't drilled the holes for the bolts, but. I think that's that's what we're looking at so I'm gonna go ahead and drill those bolts bolt the actuator tighten everything and then start the wiring all right guys uh, sorry about the delay um, forget what I said about using the uh, the window lock switch it's got some weirdness inside here that doesn't allow this module to work properly there's some weirdness about this it's only meant for door lock so don't waste your time go to AutoZone and get yourself a one of these switches it's got to be make sure that where is it that it's uh it says here oh here it is the on off on switch it'll look like this and basically what it does is up for on center off down on so i got everything just momentarily wired this is not permanent i'm gonna i'm gonna make it all look pretty after it's uh i'm done testing but here you can see down there the actuator is not currently bolted to the custom bracket that i made uh, but I'm gonna do that just as soon as I'm done here. But you can see, and it, what I'm gonna have to do is just kind of once up, I got it all bolted together. How how long I have to hold it? You know what I mean? But there you can see the action. I'm gonna have to also adjust how long it extends out, but I can easily do that. But just wanted to show that it, it's 
it's all wired and it works. So next is bolting the actuator to the bracket, kind of adjusting where I'm gonna want this to engage and disengage. Um, test it again, and once I know that I'm comfortable with the motion of the actuator, then I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together. Okay. All right, guys. So um, I picked up where I left off uh, yesterday. I couldn't finish because it got dark, but. I got the mechanism in there. I had to put it the other way. Initially, I had it this way. Now I have it that way. Just because the angle of the uh, of the actuator is better. And so I will now show you here. I will be flipping the switch, and you will see the actuator. So right now is disengage. and now it's engaged. You hear the click right there. Okay. And so the switch, it's on, off, on. This way here, you will see a little bit of the actuator. to engage it, up is to disengage it, and keep it in the middle so it's not activating, so right now it's off even though the lights are on, which is good because I kind of like it, um, so there you go, there you have it guys, uh, I'm going to finish putting all of this together, one last shot, and then I'll, I'll go outside and uh, look at the tires and make sure that it's everything is, is good. guys we're back and I've got everything back in place I've got one tire jacked up the ground and right now we can spin it it's a, the transmission is in neutral up is to disengage it down is to engage it so let's engage it Center diff lock engaged. You can see that I cannot. There, it's stopping it right there. Let's disengage it. Okay, and I'm gonna keep it in the middle to turn it off. There you have it, guys. Electric center diff lock ECDL right there I'm gonna leave uh, pictures and links to everything that I used here it was less than a hundred bucks it, it was it was a pain in the ass I will not lie it was a pain in the ass to get it installed it did took me a minute but it's well worth it i'm telling you and i apologize about the wind guys it's fixing to to rain here in texas where i live um one thing i noticed about my land rover is that when i engage the cdl my light doesn't come on and this is normal for some land rovers uh, I guess the uh, there's a there's a connector down there that I need to plug somewhere give it give it some power so that it shows on my dashboard but it really doesn't matter because as long as I can see this switch like right there I'm gonna disengage it and then move it right in the middle to know that there's no there's no power to the actuator although there is these two lights are on that's okay I can live with that uh, but this is this is a cool way to not having to buy the lever which cost 
nearly six hundred dollars uh whereas this electrical and the the module the module is down there you know the wiring it's not the most the prettiest work but it does work uh and then here i have some slots ready for when i wire actual lockers to my differentials which i will be doing that in the near future but as of right now i'm gonna work with with the center differential lock ecdl i'm pretty happy with it and if it does work for you great if you have questions let me know um again as you saw in the video it was a pain in the ass to get it installed but we got it and it works flawlessly so i hope this video um uh, helps you and if you're interested let me know if you have troubles uh, comment in the comment section below and let me know how it goes see you in the next video guys thank you